Welcome to this integrated math one practice test. Question number five on the 1718 version of the test. Maybe different later, who knows. A scientist uses the equation p sub t is equal to 2 raised to the power t plus 3 to model the growth of bacteria, where t is the time in hours after the scientist begins the experiment. Which equation is equivalent to the equation the scientist uses? So, this is a bit of a weird situation. The crux of the thing is here. Sometimes it's helpful to get a feel for, you know, what that looks like if I have some sample numbers. You'll notice below that three of the answer choices have 2t. So let's just say t is 1. So if t is 1, 2, 1 plus 3 equals 4, 2 to the fourth. So I'm really comparing these things. If t is 2, then this is 5. The interesting thing about, or it may not be interesting at all, but the functional, in this case, thing about exponents is that when I have the same base and I'm multiplying them together, I'm just adding them. So all I'm really looking to do here is get a feel for, you know, I'm adding 3 every time, so let's just break this thing down a little bit more and go back to our original point. 2t times 2 to the third. This operation also occurs here. That's what they're trying to get you to figure out. The thing that they don't want you to notice is that 2 to the third power would be 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2 more, which is 8. So I'm just looking for this. So the answer to this one would be 8 times 2t. See how they're in a different order? The thing about multiplication is it's commutative, so I can just commute over here, and now it's 8. 2 to the t. As long as you have them uh, in a multiply relationship, you can put them in whatever order that you really want. But that's what they're trying to get you to do in that question. They want you to understand that the operation for multiplying terms when I'm dealing with exponents is to multiply the coefficients if I have a variable. So if this was 2x and 2x, then I would multiply 2 times 2. But these are just the bases in this case, so I don't really have to worry about multiplying those things together. Um, so you just have to know that if I have the same base and I'm multiplying the terms, I add the exponents, that's what this represents, and then they are trying to trick you by not letting you see that this is the same thing as this because you don't think that 2 to the third is 8. I mean, you do know it, but in the middle of the test you might not think about it. So all the things are connected together and now you can see the little trick that they're trying to pull to get you to pick the wrong answer.